Hello everybody, this is uh, Itsu with a short update video. I received some parts today among uh, this uh, <coughs> pulse width modulation IC, the TL494, which is being used for the main uh, generator, they call it. And I uh, basically uh, used that diagram to put a quick uh, breadboard construction with this uh, IC. I basically followed this diagram. This is the uh, Delhi 2012 diagram. Um, this is with the uh, toroid uh, data without any information, not, not the one I called the missing one. But uh, this was the simplest. Uh, what I did is I only uh, built uh, the PWM uh, circuit and I leave the uh, MOSFETs uh, unconnected. And I have uh, put on my two probes on the outputs and uh, <coughs> you can see that uh, we have uh, nice square waves. And they are out of sync, so nice in push-pull uh, configuration. I have almost uh, 12 volt peak to peak on both. I drive with exactly 12 volt. And I have put the frequency to 4.6 kilohertz, which is the frequency which is supposed to uh, be uh, the magic one. With one of these small pots I can uh, both uh, change the frequency. Like this. Oops, and the duty cycle is the other pot. So I'm going now up to 4.6 again. Something like that. And with the other... Uh, with the other small pot I can uh, control the duty cycle. Oops, between a very small, about uh, 0 0.5 or something, oh, sorry. up all the way to almost 40%. So I'm not sure what the uh, specs are on the duty cycle, I think something like 47%. Uh, percent. So this looks uh, uh, nice and solid signal. Uh, I don't think that uh, with this 12 volts on this uh, output I need uh, the drivers I can uh, directly uh, feed it into the gates of the MOSFETs uh, that's also one of the uh, suggestions on the Russian uh, forum but that's what I'm going to try next to see if I can have some decent output when driving the, uh, the MOSFET directly without any driver driver chip or the construction uh, seen here. But I still have my uh, questions about the toroid used. I think I need some more primary turns like 6 or 7 or perhaps 10. 2 times 10. But then also the secondary turns should go up. And I understand that uh, for my toroid I need both uh, primaries going uh, clockwise. So no clockwise, counterclockwise for push-pull, but just uh, clockwise both and then connect it in the middle. But that's really I want to have confirmed uh, from somebody if possible. So the next thing I will put this on a proper uh, PCB or whatever to see if it stays stable. Okay, thank you for watching now.
Okay, what did I do? I just wanted to test uh, the MOSFET, so I hooked up one of my MOSFETs uh, via an extension uh, cord to the uh, one of the driver sides of the uh, TL494. Um, so the green wire is, uh, goes to the gate and then I have the red and the black wire going to 12 volt via a 12 volt bulb. And you can see the bulb is lit obviously and we can see that uh, the red probe is still on the gate. So you can see that without a driver this uh, TL494 is able to, uh, to fully open uh, the MOSFET. The IRF740 MOSFET I have in use at the moment. Uh, the gate shows uh, uh, for 14 volt, but that's because of the, the peak now on top of the uh, on the square wave. So I have uh, the 12 volts uh, going to the gate, and the low the yellow probe is now on the uh, on the bulb. So we can see that when uh, the gate gets uh, plus, then uh, we have no vo the 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 MOSFET is open and uh, is uh, conducting and the bulb is uh, is on. So this looks uh, looks good to me. I th I think we can. Uh, I can use, do not have to use any drivers between uh, the TL494 and the uh, and the MOSFET I am uh, using. Uh, I will try the other MOSFET as well, but I'm sure it works the same way. Okay, thank you.